Southern Implants, a pioneer in the dental implant field and committed to providing the brightest ideas in dental implants, is proud to present the MAX, the dental implant of choice for immediate placement into a multi-rooted molar extraction site. The MAX dental implant features a body with a larger than conventional diameter to fill the molar site, ultimately achieving primary stability from engagement with the perimeter bony wall. The MAX has a tapered body with an enhanced surface and is designed to fit the natural shape of the molar socket. The MAX is available in 8 and 9 millimeter diameters and 7, 9 and 11 millimeter lengths. This presentation will demonstrate the surgical placement of an 8 millimeter diameter by 9 millimeter length MAX dental implant into the first maxillary molar site utilizing the MAX dental implant system. The procedure is begun by horizontally sectioning the crown of the first maxillary molar, then atraumatically removing its roots. Part of the intraradicular bone is then removed and the roots degranulated. It is important to confirm the structural integrity of the extraction socket as this will determine the suitability and long-term success for the max dental implant. Keeping this in mind, the buccal plate must first be intact. Additionally, a clearance of 2 millimeters of bone between the max implant and the buccal plate is required. Finally, the sinus must be intact after maxillary molar extraction and no major grafting should be necessary. Utilizing a round burr followed by the 2 millimeter diameter pilot drill, the osteotomy is initiated by drilling in the remaining intraradicular bone. The exact location is determined by the surgical guide. The pilot drills have markings at the length of 7, 9, and 11 millimeters and should be used with copious irrigation. Using an in and out motion with each motion lasting 1 to 2 seconds at 1000 to 2000 RPM, drill to the required depth of the selected implant. It is recommended that the max implant be seated 2 millimeters subcrestal. The osteotomy site is further widened with a 3 millimeter diameter pilot drill to the required depth of the selected implant. At this point, the osteotomy site is widened using a 6 millimeter diameter by 8.5 millimeter length tapered drill to the full depth of 8.5 millimeters. Care must be taken to maintain the integrity of the buccal plate when performing the widening. The final implant drill, which is slightly smaller than the max implant selected, is then used at a speed of approximately 300 to 800 RPM to provide the final shape of the osteotomy. The max dental implant is then carefully removed from its sterile vial with the pre-attached fixture mount and is carried to the osteotomy site where it is inserted at 15 to 20 RPM and 30 to 35 Newton centimeters. Once the max dental implant is in place, it is recommended that the max system ratchet wrench be utilized to ensure proper seating and optimal primary stability. Once this is accomplished, the fixture mount is removed using a 1.22 inch hex driver. The max healing screw can now be placed onto the implant with the 0.09 inch hex driver. The restorative interface of the max implant features platform switching utilizing either an 8 or 9 millimeter wide platform. The MAX implant is available with either an internal or external connection. For more details about Southern Implants or the MAX dental implant system, please contact us at 866-700-2100 or visit our website at www.southernimplants.us. The MAX dental implant from Southern Implants providing the brightest ideas in dental implants and allowing the dental specialist to shine.